Hey, what's up guys? So yeah, I know it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks, I think. No, it hasn't been that long. Well, <coughs> funny story. A video I posted, um, the, D the DC's Legends Heroes of Tomorrow, that episode was actually supposed to come out last week, and I was supposed to be doing these videos, um, on, you know, the day after I did that video, after I recorded all of those other ones and uploaded them, but I had a little issue with my computer, so I am here with the latest four episodes, four episodes of Star Wars Rebels, which are Homecoming, no, The Call, no, Legends of the Sot, The Call, Homecoming, and the new one last night, which was, oh god, I forgot what it was called. But, so let's start with Legends of the Lasat. So, Legend of the Lasat was an interesting episode. It was very, 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 you know, um, um, close to Zeb, as well as the latest episode that came out yesterday, which is the Honorable Ones, which is that one. And they both very much focused on Zeb. And what the point of this episode was, was that they pick up these two Lasats, and the crew of the Ghost picks up these two Lasats. They're being chased by the Empire because they're supposed to be gone. They're supposed to be extinct and wiped out. And um, Zeb, you know, finds out that they know who he is, and they know that he was a high class guard. You know, he was a high person up in there, and that now. Um, they're, they're, they have a new planet. The Lasat have a new planet. And it's very, very cool to see the whole way that they figure it out. And that, you know, the whole tale between, well, with the, um, I forgot what the tale was. But it was very interesting. It was a very interesting episode. And it was a good thing. It was an interesting background for Zeb. And that's something I really like about Season 2 is we're really dwelling into the backgrounds of the characters, of the ghost, and we're dwelling into kind of, you know, kind of into their characters a little bit more, you know, and that was something I really did like about, um, Legends of the Lasat. So, I would definitely give that episode a 4.5 out of 5 winks. I thought it was a very good episode, very well done, and it had some pretty good action, and it was a very good story, and it turns out the Lasats are on their own world, and Zeb got to meet them, so, you know, when all goes to shit for them, the crew of the ghosts, he could go there, but, um, moving on to Homecoming. Now, Homecoming was the one episode where I was like, ooh, now this episode seems a little bit out there. Um, so they're following these kind of space whales, as I like to call them. Um, and they're, they're following on this gas planet in the Mining Guild, in which that was also referenced in A New Dawn, because that was a big thing, the Mining Guild, that was going on. And it was very interesting to see that come up again. Because I just finished A New Dawn, like, a couple of weeks before that episode came out. And it was, I was like, oh, you know, now I remember that. And it was very, very cool to see that kind of reference come back and to see that these, you know, that it's connected. This stuff is connected. But the episode was very interesting. And, um, it see, it's, um, I was not really looking forward to it when it first came out. But once I actually watched it, I thought it wasn't too bad. You know, there was, there was some things I wish would have changed. But, um, I felt like the characters definitely, like, Kanan and Ezra, definitely, they did, you know, work together good as a team, especially, well, Ezra, he, he really became more close to the Force in this one, because he had to kind of, um, become one with the space whales, as I like to call it, like I said, um, with the whales, and, um, it was very cool to see him kind of do that, and that, he had that connection with him, and he found out that these guys are the guys that created hyperspace, and that was cool, that was an interesting little nip well a little tidbit that we learned and i thought that was very interesting because who knew that <coughs> <coughs> hyperspace was created by the whales by these you know by these whales and it was very very interesting and the way that they did it is they go down into the mining guild where they were and they get the gas and that's what kind of gives them their inner well their um capability to travel through hyperspace which is very cool and it was also very cool to see the new tie fighter designs from the mining guild very interesting really like to see that um and that also that stormtroopers were not you know in you know stormtroopers were in the episode but they were not flying the tie fighters you know it was rodians like it was different types of species you know on the f you know fighting and on the front lines and stuff like that for this mining guild so the stormtroopers really aren't a part of that as much but you know they're still there a little bit so for that episode, I definitely thought it was a, definitely a 4 out of 5. I didn't think it was great. I thought it was pretty good. 
But um, it was kind of just an hour. It was, you know, it was just kind of a episode I can just skip over. But I really did like the what they did and how they reintroduced that canon. Well, that thing that was in Legends that I believe, because I believe that's what it was. That these creatures were they were they adapted that from the Legends, you know, and put it into canon for real. So this time, it was very cool. So moving on to the next one, which is Homecoming. Now this was the episode I was really looking forward to. This is probably my favorite. Well, one of my favorite episodes of the season because we finally get to see the return of Champs and Dula, Numa, and Gobi. Now, I read the Star Wars Lords of the Sith book, and that's where it kind of left off. That's where we learned, that's where we first learned about Hera was in that book, I'd say. Well, you know, we learned because that book came out after, you know, A New Dawn and Star Wars Rebels. But we learned about Hera in that book, and that Cham had her, and that Cham, his wife died, you know, before that ha that book happened or something and then he he didn't Hera was not with him it was interesting to see that he had faced Vader and that he had become part of the rebellion by the end of the book he was like I you know I I'm a part of the you know I want to be part of this rebellion and if you guys have not read that book please check it out as well as a new dawn and um I'll be talking about other books later on but um so yes um moving on to that episode I thought it was very well done I really did love the episode and I really did like how Hera just you know, acted around her father as well as Kanan. They both, they both were very different kind of characters. Kanan acted kind of like a fanboyish kind of character because he really did like Cham, and he had a really strong connection to Deepa Paula because he had a strong connection to Mace Windu as well. You know, and it goes down that that um, cycle like that. And it was very cool to kind of actually have that reference in the episode, and I did like that. It was very cool. I also did like hearing Hera have her native tongue. You know, her native, Rod um, not Rodian, um, Twi'lek language come out, you know, her talking about French accent, you know. It was very, very cool because that's how Cham talks. And, you know, it's a good callback to kind of, you know, what's, you know, it all been. And, I like I said, I really did like this episode. Definitely a 5 out of 5. I really loved the story. I loved the characters, the character development, the character depth was great for everything. I really did love it. So, moving on to... The, mister, the, well, the the honorable ones, which is a story about um, Agent Callus and Zeb kind of getting along. And this episode, to me, it felt really short. I really did like seeing these two together because we knew since season one that these two were not good at all. You know, were not on good terms. They would fight back and forth, and they found and he found out in the second episode, Droids in Stress, that Callus had took the bowcaster from one of the Lasats, and we actually learn a little bit about that and um in this episode we also you know see you know um zeb kind of have a lighter side as well as callus and they kind of form a mutual maybe a bond i don't know where it's gonna go from there it'd be cool to see maybe if zeb could change him you know it'd be cool to see if um callus would actually leave the empire because at the end of the episode we see he him, talk, him talking to an Imperial officer and he just walks on by. He doesn't even look at him. And Kallus just gets that look of... I just was... I wanted to be in his head like... Is this really what I want? You know, because that's what I felt was going through his head. And Zeb kind of explains throughout the episode why the Rebel Alliance is good and what it's different from, you know, from the Empire. And it definitely is because it has a stronger impact. And, you know, the people in the... Um, Rebel Alliance actually care about each other and care about a greater cause. The Empire, they care about themselves and don't care about others, you know, and that's something that I really find interesting. And I'm also reading The Lost Stars right now, and Sina and Thane are kind of the same way. Thane is kind of going down that rebel path. He's understanding, you know, is this really what I want? Is this, you know, and Sina is kind of in the same way, but she's like, no. Obviously, there's a reason. These rebels, they're terrorists. They should not have this impact. And, you know, I am on chapter 10, and I am hooked. And it is awesome, and I really do like reading it. It's right after Alderaan got blew up. So, yeah, it's very cool. But moving on to the honorable ones. Like I said, I'm really, um, I'd am really, i be really interested to seeing where we can go from here. Like if um, Zeb and um, Callus are going to... You know, maybe form another friendship, or you know, or form something. You know, they're they're not going to be so harsh next time when they meet. But I I don't know, and that's good. I really want to see what will happen in the future, and um, definitely give this episode a five out of five. So yeah, pretty good episode so far. Um, 
Next week's episode is definitely looking awesome. Yoda is coming back. The Inquisitors are coming back as well. And some new creatures that Sabine's going to be fighting. Well, that the whole team's going to be fighting. But them creatures look interesting. And we're finally getting closer to the season finale. Which means an epic showdown which is about to happen. So, yeah guys, that's about it. I will be back later tonight with the review for Agent Carter, The Flash, and DC's Legends Heroes of Tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Jeremy, wink it out.